Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be making some cable Damascus out of this 7 16 inch uh, cable and I've had it soaking in vinegar overnight so it smells really nice. And I'm going to bring you guys along on the journey to see how it goes. It might go terribly, it might work out magnificently, but we'll find out. My first step I'm going to do is take these and weld up the ends just so they don't split apart and then run them under the wire wheel and get them all cleaned up best I can before we put them in the forge. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do now is weld these together in a stack and then weld the handle on and I'll get the forge started now as well so that can start heating up. So now what I'm going to do is take my billet that's welded up and I'm going to soak it in kerosene and that'll a layer of soot that'll prevent oxidation when putting it in the forge. Um, if you've ever seen Shoe Wraps videos, he's a really popular blacksmith on YouTube. That's what he soaks all of his billets in at the beginning and he didn't know what that was. So I'm going to do that now. The forge is nice and hot and then we'll put it in and get started. Alright, first forge welding heat went well. Uh, my tank was losing a bit of pressure. These smaller propane tanks uh, lose pressure when they're, they get cold and they get cold from being at high pressure. So I warmed it up a little bit and the forge lit right up, got up to heat again. Um, I could feel a s distinct like swish swish and then hard. So forge welding something. So hopefully it continues this way. Feels like my handle's about to break off, so I'm gonna go for. I think I'm gonna go for a twist, and then I'll cut it up, grind it flat and smooth and nice and clean, and then forge weld that again. I wasn't really ready to do a twist, and the tools I had ready weren't set properly. And also, I just don't think they're long enough to get enough leverage to twist that thick bar. So I'm just going to go for one or two more forge welding heats and then cut it up and start the next stack.
Okay, so I'm gonna let this cool down now. Probably get something to eat. Um, I'm running out of propane in that tank, so it's sort of dying out anyway. And then I'll come back and clean it up, see if I have any cold shots or anything I need to grind out. I can see that there's a few waves in it, but that's to be expected with cable Damascus from what I've seen. And uh, yeah, then we'll cut it up and restack it. Well, it has cooled down now, and there's a lot of stuff I don't like going on here. It looks like I'm going to have to grind away quite a bit, but we'll see what happens when it gets ground away. Then I'm going to cut it in half this way, restack it, maybe even into threes, depending on what I have left, and forge weld it again. All right, let's get that started. So I ground out all of the cracks I could find. Some of them were pretty surface, but there were a few really deep ones. They're all gone now, so I'm gonna cut it up into, I think, three sections. Go for one more forge weld with the 5160 in there as well. And hopefully I'll have enough there to make something small. This is really more experimental, and I think that I'll need to monitor when my forge is losing pressure and losing heat um, more quickly because a few heats without forge welding temperature and then you're creating cold shuts right there so that's what I'll do next <laughs> What I've done here, I've welded up every side of this billet just to pr help prevent oxygen from getting in um, in any of those little gaps that are created because they're not going to be perfectly flat. But I'm going to weld a handle on it, start up the forge, and get forge welding. one of the seams open up a little bit by the handle so I put some flux on it and get it really hot smash it hopefully close it
Okay, so I've got a pretty even bar here. There's a few little parts that, like a bit of a dip there at the front, but most of that's gonna get cut off anyway. Um, I'm gonna put it back in the forge now to let it cool down slowly, and then come back out later, grind off any of those welds and anything bad I can see, and see what we have left, see if we can make something out of this. Here's what the billet looks like after forge welding and now that it's cooled down still got some hammer marks in it but all in all it looks pretty good to me uh, of course that'll be revealed when I grind off the scale and see what's underneath that's what I'm gonna do now Now that we can take a bit of a closer look at this thing, it seems that there are a few little delaminations that will probably grind out really easily. And the ends, obviously, they're going to get cut off. But I want to etch it first. It seems that my second attempt at welding that up went a lot better than my first one, even though I called my first one a success. Uh, the cable like that has a lot of spaces in between it. Um, and for the most part, it welded up pretty nice, but it's not gonna weld as well as pieces stacked flat against each other welded and seamed. Uh, I'm not at that level, but I'm pretty happy with this. It's a pretty small block. Um, about not quite three quarters about three quarters of an inch thick at its thickest part or for us normal people uh, 18 mil by about an inch wide or 25.4 mil after I cut those ends off because I'll probably cut off about a quarter inch on each side it's about 90 millimeters or three and a half inches. So it'll be a little small knife, but it'll be something that I can look back on as my first Damascus, and that's exciting. This Damascus now has been sitting in the ferrochloride for about 20 minutes at this point, and I took a little bit of a peek at it just to see that it was etching, but I hadn't taken it out yet, so here's the first impression you can see that on the sides it looks like a standard wavy pattern and there's a few little D lambs and things in there that can either be ground out or forged out because they don't even catch a fingernail so I'm not too concerned and on the back there it almost looks like the pattern from a turtle shell or something which is pretty standard for cable Damascus and I like it quite a bit. Um, the bottom edge there that's all black, that's the 5160, it didn't etch at all or show any pattern anyway. And that's where I'll be ending this video this time and next time I'm hoping to be making something out of this piece of Damascus, probably a small knife or something like that and I'll give you guys a close-up at the end. So I hope to see you all next time and thanks for watching.